I am at the best of all lookout, it's called, in the Gondwana World Heritage Rainforest here in the scenic rim. This place is absolutely breathtaking. Let's go back. Let's go back 4.6 billion years to the creation of Earth after the Big Bang. Not much going on, gases and a bit of lava. That's about it. Then around a billion years ago, things really started to get interesting. Geologists tell us that this is when the history of the Earth's continental crust began forming a supercontinent, what they call Rodinia. Just a crusty place, lava spewing everywhere. But that crust started to shift apart and, and coalesce into landmass. Rodinia was the first supercontinent, but it didn't last long, only a few billion years. Yeah, they reckon about 600 million years ago, this Panosia is where land, water, gases, and single cell life start to coalesce and form. Past the evolution of multicellular life and the Cambrian explosion, when life exploded into an array of plants and tiny creatures. Amazing. Pretty quickly after, supercontinents crushing and crashing together, and Gondwana was formed. Gondwana, some 600 to 300 million years ago, stretched across India, Africa, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. And it became this lush, dense rainforest, much like what we're seeing here today. And it had huge trees. Amongst those trees were the Antarctic beech trees, ancestors of the Antarctic beech trees that we see here now. In fact, I'm sitting in the northernmost part of Australia where these remnant Antarctic beech trees still exist. All that shifting and shaping and drifting of those continental shelves created a bit of a stir some 20 million years ago. A small, subtle shift in a continental crust over a hot spot in the Earth's core, and boom, Wollumbin was born. The cloud catcher, the volcanic eruption and the remnants of it that we still see here today. That eruption would have been the biggest thing the East Coast of Australia would have seen at any given time. And that force molded this whole landscape for hundreds of kilometers around us. It gave rise to the fertile soil and the rainforest to characterize what we're seeing here today.
what we're left with is this spectacular green cauldron. What we're left with is just a tiny skerrick of Wollumbin. In fact, let me show you the tip of Wollumbin here. And the rest of the green cauldron. So fast forward 20 million years to some 100,000 years ago when the landmass by that point that was uh, marked by the geography of Australia was still floating, drifting northward as were many of the supercontinents. In fact, perhaps about five centimetres per year with another landmass known as overall Sahul, including Indonesia, Australia and other parts. And they were all kind of land bridges in amongst that northern part of Australia that connected it with Indonesia. And they say it's those land bridges where the first peoples of Australia navigated the complex straits and seas to come down into the northern part of Australia and become the first custodians of this place. Yeah, so pretty spectacular place. Uh, make sure you hit like or subscribe. And let's keep having a look around and talking about complexities, ideas, concepts while we walk.